Tuesday, MLA Mike Bernier, Energy and Mines Minister Bill Bennett and Pattern Development CEO Mike Garland notified Tumble Ridge of their plans to move forward with the $400 million wind farm. This is good news for the recessed community that has been struggling since the closing of the mines last year. The farm will bring 175 construction jobs to town as well as nine permanent full-time positions for operations after completed in 2016. When finished, the 61 turbines will produce enough energy to power more than 50,000 homes. Um, the project that we're here to celebrate, the Miko Wind Project, um, is, is here today and, and uh, we're obviously we're pleased to be here to help the company um, and the community celebrate that project. The Miko Wind Project is a $400 million uh, project. It's located 33 kilometers northwest of Tumbler Ridge. It's between Tumbler Ridge and Chetwin, um, obviously within the uh, traditional territory of the Treaty 8 First Nations. It'll have 61 turbine generators. Uh, it'll provide 185 megawatts of capacity um, and enough clean renewable energy to BC Hydro each year to power uh, the equivalent of 54,000 homes. Uh, the project, the company has been awarded an electricity purchase agreement with Hydro uh, for 25 years um, and the project received its environmental certificate uh, back in June and, and uh, I'm one of the ministers that signs off on the environmental certificate and my, my colleague, the Minister of Environment, Mary Polak, is the other one. Um, site preparation has already uh, commenced. If you've been out and about, you'll, you'll have seen that. Construction begins in in June and, and we're hoping that the project is ready to go in about two years or a little bit less. Um, I'm told that the project will generate about 175 jobs uh, throughout construction. Um, when, the, when the project is done, like, like most energy projects, whether we're talking big hydroelectric dams or whether we're talking uh, um, even oil and gas, once the, once the project is built, um, it's fewer jobs but nine or ten full-time jobs for this project and obviously those jobs uh, couldn't come at a, at a better time.